NASA has decided that Butch and Sonny will return with Crew-9 next February, uh, and that Starliner uh, will return uncrewed, and the specifics in the schedule will be discussed momentarily. Uh, I want you to know that Boeing has worked very hard with NASA to get the necessary data to make this decision. <clears throat> we want to further understand the root causes and understand the design improvements so that the Boeing Starliner will serve as an important part of our assured crew access to the ISS. I have just talked to the new Boeing CEO, Kelly Ortberg. Uh, I have expressed this to, the, to him. I told him uh, how well Boeing uh, worked with our team to come to this decision. And uh, he expressed to me uh, an intention that uh, they will continue to work the problems once Starliner is back safely and uh, that we will have our redundancy and our crewed access to the space station. Uh, this whole discussion, remember, is put in the context of we have had mistakes done in the past. We lost two space shuttles as a result of there not being a, a culture in which information could come forward. Uh, we have been very solicitous of all of our employees that if you have some objection, you come forward. Space flight is risky even at its safest, safest and even at its most routine. And a test flight by nature is neither safe nor routine. And so the decision to keep Butch and Sonny aboard the International Space Station and bring the Boeing Starliner home uncrewed is a result of a commitment to safety. Our core value is safety, and it is our North Star. And I'm grateful to NASA and to Boeing for their teams, for all the incredible and detailed work to get to this decision.